Melanie. This is Laura Edwards and I wanted to just say hi to you. I was thinking about you and I wanted to share that uh, the first time I ever met you, um, you reminded me of an aunt of my husband's who lives in North Carolina. So I had this instant sense of familiarity uh, just seeing you. And so I've always had a, a comfortableness with you, just being around you and uh, I've always liked you. And I was there whenever you did your testimony at the Downtown Rescue Mission and you know I was just amazed. I was blown away by your life and the levels of experiences and things that God has brought you through and that you have just gone through grace after grace with God and I think that's amazing and you know I thought I liked you before and then after hearing that testimony I just really really liked but I've watched you and uh, I've been praying for you all this time and I just want you to know that um, when we see each other again it's gonna be awesome and so this isn't goodbye it's till we meet again hey miss Lenny we sure do miss you and we love you and we can't wait for you to come back and and for God to heal you and for you to be a part of the family again here, we, we miss seeing your face. You've just touched so many of us, and uh, we love you, and we pray for you, and we know that God's got you, and uh, we just can't wait to see you. Love you. Hey, Lenny, this is Connie, and I just wanted to tell you how special you have been to me and my family. You have been such a blessing to all of us. Father, I just can't imagine um, your grandchildren and your family having you around all the time. It's got to be such a wonderful, loving world to have someone like you. And thank you for all you've done for the community. You're such a loving person. You're you're actually one of God's angels on earth, and you have been such a blessing to so many. And you are in our par prayers and thoughts, and we love you so much. May God be with you and give you peace and comfort during this difficult time, and know you are very loved. Lenny, Connie said everything. I just want to let you know, I love you, sweetheart. Very special. We love you. Lenny, I can't begin to tell you how blessed I am to have you in my life. Thank you so much for taking such good care of Kim and her family before I moved to Alabama and after. My grandchildren will always think of you as their other grandmother. I have so enjoyed the opportunity to spend time with you these last several months. I love the stories and the laughter that we share. You're such a joy to be with. You have a heart as big as a mountain, and you never stop thinking of ways to help others, whether it's by sending a handwritten note, all the material and the books that you've given me to on road trips and interesting places to see, Baking cupcakes for the firemen, a touch, a word of encouragement. You continue to touch so many lives every day after all these years. Your acts of kindness and love are never forgotten, and you are cherished by so many people. You are an amazing, strong, wonderful woman, and I am so very proud to call you my friend. Hey, Lenny. Um, we just wanted to let you know we're praying for you, praying for some peace. Um, we know the situation's hard. Um, hi, Lenny. This is Max, by the way. I haven't met you. Oh, um, yeah. I'm praying for you. And I want to thank you for being such a great example of Christian. And you're loved by so many because you love so many. And I know that you made a difference in my life. We love you. We love and miss you. Praying for you. <clears throat> hey, love. This is your sister in Christ sending my wishes and my blessings to you and wanting the opportunity to remind you that you are loved by many. And I miss not being a good shepherd and seeing you. And I hope that you know that you are my thoughts, you are my prayers, and I hope to see you soon. God bless. Bye. Sure. All right. Well, hi, Lenny. Hi, Lenny. 
We're glad to have the opportunity to just say a few words about what you mean to us. Um, when we moved here eight years ago, you were a pivotal um, part of our transition, and it was challenging um, because our family grew and not having other family around to support us. Um, it was a little challenging um, as any young family starts off, so you were really present um, and just so delightfully so. You always offered to serve but with a joyous spirit and um, never, you know, uh, I don't know, it's hard to find people that give of themselves so freely um, and encourage. And I think that was one of your spiritual gifts was encouragement, is encouragement, is that you just continue to um, encourage our kids, encourage us. And I think that that has definitely spilled out um, to the community. I think the group of people that have come together on Facebook and the Love Lenny page see what an encouragement you've been in our lives and then we have taken that forward and tried to encourage other people through notes, um, through letters, through calls, uh, just letting people know that um, that we're here for them, that it's important to serve as the hands and feet of Christ and um, that was the example that you gave to me. I, I'm sorry that I'm talking. <laughs> My favorite um, some of my favorite times with you have just been when we're talking and laughing. I love your stories. I love hearing um, of your family and your childhood. I love hearing of your uh, days as a school teacher and a mom. And um, it, there isn't much time that uh, we spend talking that I don't laugh. I enjoy laughing with you. And um, I'm very, very grateful to have you in my life and in my children's lives. Um, I just want to say, uh, Lenny, thank you so much for our anniversary gift. That was just so kind of you to think about us on this special day that's coming up for us. Um, also, I know I haven't seen you much lately, but I'm really happy you've had the chance to spend time with Pam and Paula, and, and then they just had that opportunity to be there with you during this time. Um, just know that we're praying for you and that we love you very much. Um, I feel like you're such a person of strength and perseverance and just knowing your story and, and your battle and what you've been through is really, you know, a testament to, um, you know, what Christ can do in somebody's life. And um, I just, I think that, um, you know, going through any sort of ordeal like that is, it can just, it can break some people. And I know that you have, you've held strong and you've been such a great example to my wife and to my mother-in-law and to our family. And I just thank you for that. And uh, just know that we really miss you and we love you. And uh, we'll, we'll see you soon, Lenny. We love you. Yes, Lenny, we love you. And I know that um, the coming days and weeks might um, at times feel um, stressful or um, you might have some anxiety, but just know that you have so many people around you that are lifting you up in prayer and um, that this is going to be a joyous day and there's nothing to be afraid of and we love you and we will see you very soon. Hi Lenny. Hi Lenny. Hi Lenny. We love you and we miss you and we just hope that you get to see this video and, and know that about us and we're just wishing you well. I just remember that we have this hope that uh, no matter what happens in this life, that, that we believe in the, the life and death and burial and resurrection of our Lord and Savior as we approach Easter. We miss you. We look forward to seeing you again. We love you so much. I love you, Lenny. Angel says hello and best wishes. We love you. Hey, Lenny. It's Sharon. I just wanted to say how much you have meant to me and how much I love you and a special thank you for your sweet Christmas card this year. And it really touched my heart that you thought enough of me to remember me and send me a card and write a personal note. And I miss you. I miss your presence here at church. I miss your strength. And I just miss the camaraderie that you brought to this family that we have. So I wish you the best and I miss you again. And I send all my love. I look forward
forward to seeing you again sometime. Hey Lenny, uh, just wanted to say hi and I'm praying for you and just uh, thank you for all the stuff that you've done for me. And, uh, just hi and thank you. Hi Lenny. Uh, I just want to take a minute to uh, say hello and uh, to thank you for being for being you. You have such a sweet, caring, gentle spirit, but you also have uh, the spunkiness and spark of life that says, "I'm not going to take crap from anybody." And. Uh, from the very first moment I got a chance to get to know you and, and sharing time with you in small groups and, and getting to know uh, just some of your stories and, and the way you love life and the way you laugh and the way you, you invigorate other people around you. Uh, you are such a huge blessing and such an inspiration to so many people. And I think it's evident that many, many, many people love you. There were so many people who didn't have an opportunity to share uh, on this this video uh, just because of time constraints and uh, I know right now this has got to be a cross between a, a peaceful and frightening time um, it's hard to fathom sometimes but I do know without a shadow of a doubt that I will see you again, and this is just a, a small, minuscule stop along the way. And uh, I love you very, very much. And you are such an inspiration, such a blessing, and I hope, I hope that I can have a hundredth of the impact on people around me that you've had on me, and the people around you. You are so loved, and so adored, and you will continue to be in our prayers. And uh, we love you.